All right, team, good morning. Surgical pause. Have we confirmed the patient's identity? Fusion imaging is almost like augmented reality in the operating room. It allows us to overlay preoperative imaging on top of our real-time fluoroscopic imaging to provide a sort of roadmap to guide where our catheters, wires, and stents ultimately will go. In the early days, the surgeon used to have to take the CT scan and study it religiously before the surgery and have a good mental image of what was going on in order to overlay that in their mind. And then there was a time when you had a fusion image, but it was kind of dumb. It didn't really know what was happening on the screen. It just assumed that the patient was still on the table. But the beauty of cloud computing is that the fusion imaging is actually constantly updating. The system learns the patient's specific anatomy from a preoperative CT scan. It matches a 3D anatomy of the vertebrae to the 2D image, and we can give precise guidance to the surgeons. The process itself is actually really simple. SIDAR has streamlined it so that it makes it very easy for the surgeon to use. All we have to do is hit a button, SIDAR turns on and it's ready to go. The system in the operating room is a web browser. So essentially it is running a video chat. It happens to be with the person's aorta. The cloud supercomputer is watching those images like an expert anatomist. It keeps the image on the screen up to date, even when the patient moves or the table moves, or we have different procedural events. The positioning is accurate to better than a fifth of a millimeter, which is really crucial because some of the target branch vessels the surgeons are trying to insert guide wires into might only be three to six millimeters in diameter. Using patient-specific anatomy in order to tune the operation to a more accurate view is the ultimate precision medicine. SIDAR also helps reduce the problem with using x-rays. The risk of x-ray guided surgery is the radiation dose for both the patient and the operator. Paradoxically, it's a time where intervening on a patient, I actually have a risk to myself. The x-rays are running constantly whenever they're moving the tools and that will scatter around the room. The radiation environment in the operating room is worse than anything you'll find out in the open at Chernobyl. Cloud-based computing and, and this type of fusion imaging allows us to decrease that radiation dose and really make it better for the patient. We can get our patients into and out of the operating room in almost half the time compared with two years ago. Until now, the equipment needed for such operations was prohibitively expensive. SIDAR is changing things because it's taking a very high cost product and it's allowing it to be available to any institution um, with almost any form of equipment. Because we're replacing hardware with software, it's actually very affordable for hospitals. They simply need the PC in the operating room and it interfaces to any existing X-ray set. They all just work with a video feed into our system, internet connection, and there we are. We, we have the system running. This speaks to us because we think that these advances in technology should be available to all patients throughout the world, not just the patients who happen to live in a resource-rich environment. We really believe that any of the work we do to advance technology should be something that all patients can benefit from. We've only just started scratching the surface of what the trio of cloud computing, advanced software and the operating can do. The cloud has the opportunity to be extremely powerful because it will connect us all in ways that we've never been connected before. That kind of connection means that there'll be less mistakes made. It means that patients will be able to move seamlessly between healthcare environments um, without the problems that we've seen in the past of communication and miscommunication. Ultimately, what we will see is the operating rooms will transform. The knowledge of every consultant surgeon will be pooled in the cloud, will be shared between all the world's operating rooms. It will make every individual clinician far more effective. There's no question that we will embrace this type of advanced technology in healthcare, and we've been somewhat slow to do it. So I'm pleased that we're able to deliver this to our patients now, and I hope that it only gets stronger.